G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you bury logs and bug shells in the garden. We'll dig down after six years for the logs and less than three months for the bug shells to see what's left and what kind of positive effect, if any, they have made on the garden bed overall. Let's get into it. I'm not going to lie, it did take a few hours to remove most of this soil and get down to the base of the garden bed where those first big logs were laid. I initially moved the soil from this bed to the bed next to it, but then I thought, oh, I've got a bed down the back that needs filling up. Why not just repurpose that soil into there? Because that big long bed needed the soil and I could make good use of it sowing potatoes whilst I was working on this one. You can see as I scrape away the remnants of where some sticks were, like that, that there is a broken down stick. You can't tell now, it's a different color. You can scrape it away and it just breaks up, but that's a stick that's been dissolved, broken down by worms that are coming up from the bottom. Now, look at that. That's just powdered wood. It's very fine, it's like dust. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Look. It's very fine sawdust like material. Look at it. So light. Big fat earthworms uh, in the wood. Look. basically right in the wood and eating it after all these years I don't want to hurt it there, there you go they're fat things they're not big but they're fat check this out have a look at this Look at this wood. Have a look. Watch this. See how much water's coming out of that? This is what we mean by wood acting like a sponge. See how it's how that is acting like a sponge. Now that's been in there six, nearly seven years. Look at it. That's what's keeping this bed nice and moist. Don't have to water as often. It's because it's wicking up and it's storing water in the base. So here we are on the opposite side and from the old video, I can see that here was probably the biggest log and then there was a lot of big logs placed all around here and of course what you don't see when I was digging it through as you found out was a lot of the sticks and the debris like the leaves and the other organic matter that was just pretty much almost disappeared there were surprisingly a few sticks that uh, were like here I can see that's probably remnants of a, of a stick, probably a hardwood stick, um, but most of it is completely gone. And speaking about decaying things and nothing left, 
there were no signs whatsoever of those Moreton Bay bug shells. For those who don't know, a Moreton Bay bug is like a lobster. They've got a very hard outside shell. They're delicious eating. Probably one of the top seafoods you can get in Australia. The shell is very hard. I know that seafood breaks down quickly because I put seafood in the garden all the time. We've got a fishing channel, so I do fishing videos. I never ever leave fish at the boat ramp or in the bin, fish waste that is. I always fill up the fish at home. If we don't use the scraps for stock or making soups, we will put it into the garden because it makes fantastic plant food and it's just great for the worms and the bugs. So I know that seafood breaks down really quickly, but I didn't realize that those hard shelled crustaceans would break down so quick. I could not find one remnants at all of those shellfish in this bed, in the soil. It was just completely gone and disintegrated, which is pretty interesting, isn't it? Imagine the calcium that that would have given, the minerals and the calcium uh, in particular, which is fantastic for plants like tomatoes, for example, and pretty much all veggies. So it's a critical mineral that plants need and here it is dissolved all in that soil and it'll probably be very good for that potato crop that I moved over there. Let's check out these logs. And in particular, I wanna see this big one here, which seems very hard still. There you, I showed you how a lot of the log pieces that I've been bringing up has been very soft and holding water. So there you go, some of the logs, like this one, which I'm, I'm gonna semi dig out. Oh, there's still plenty of hard logs in here, I tell you. So it's rotting by the looks of it from the inside and not the top. This was a really hardwood piece of wood. It's probably redwood or iron bark. Here we go. Some nut grass there. We'll throw that away. There we go. And look, I can feel it. There's the moisture in the in the stomach of the look at that. Look at that. Six years later. Wow, there's your sponge and it's in the center as it's getting eaten away. And then you've still got those hard bits, but it is breaking down. I mean, you wouldn't be able to do that with new hardwood, just chip away like that. No signs of worms in this, but just moisture. I might just pull this right up. It's certainly a lot lighter than it was. There's some fungi or something eating the outside of it. Here we go. That's, there, there's, there's the fungi eating through. Here we go. See if you can see that fungus. So it's not all animals that's eating through this wood. And again, look at the core. It's the core that's, that's holding the moisture here. Look, that, that looks like just normal wood, doesn't it? To your eye, but watch this. It's full of water in the, in the guts of this small log the fungus on the end so the fungus has access to the moisture as well helping it break down i'd say most of this is going to be pretty much the same but i just want to check out this log on this side it looks like it's drier for some reason and there's a there's a stick probably it probably not getting as wet being on the side of the bed there but look at that. It's, oh. And again, the moist, look, I've got to show you this. Again, 
the moisture the moisture look break this in half carefully there's moisture see it dripping out there's moisture in the middle of it the outside's dry and the inside has this has this moisture and water it's quite bizarre look at how easy that crumbles I don't know about you, but I find this stuff fascinating. Just the, the cycle of life and how just everything has a purpose. Even the way things decay and break down. Yeah, it's, it's quite amazing. I can certainly tell that this soil is much better than the initial soil that I put in here. And I do remember the soil that I did put in here was pretty awful. I, from memory, I got some pretty poor soil from a landscaping supplies company. And I whinged about it later in subsequent videos and I had to fix and amend the topsoil so that I could grow things properly in it. But um, I'll put manure and all that in here. But you can just see that this bottom bit has been, because of that decay and the, the worms and the microbes being active and the fungi, it's adding some extra richness and value to this soil in the garden bed. So it's definitely doing its job so like i always say hugel culture mound culture it's not just about saving money on fill it's about a long-term approach to ensuring that you've got a garden bed that is alive with living things and that has that symbiotic relationship with the soil and with your plants so that you can then work in with nature, look and see the earth through her eyes and grow better. That's, that's the bottom line. Well, the digging isn't finished. I've got a lot to go. And of course the bed then needs to be filled. But first of all, I need to fix it because you, can you see it from there? I think you can. It's bowing out that way. That other side's not too bad, but this side is bowing out basically from the force of the logs and the soil, it's pulled that bed apart and I need to pull it back together again. And I've got a really cool way to show you how to do it for this birdie's garden bed. And the other thing I have to do is fill it. But this is the thing. I'm not gonna fill it with soil. That's right. I'm going to perform a modern day miracle of filling garden beds without using any soil. Can you guess what it is? I bet you can't. You just would not have a clue. So you're gonna to have to wait for that next video that comes out pretty much several days after this one and I'll show you how to do it. Plus I'm gonna plant potatoes as well. So fix the bed, fill the bed, plant some potatoes in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big decaying log thumbs up share it around and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already cheers thanks for watching